Hey guys, there has been a big change to the GCSE specification this year, so I'm just going to briefly, briefly talk you through uh, what's changed and what hasn't. So if you are in um, year 11, you are doing old specification, so unless you want little brothers or sisters, you can basically ignore this video. Um, if you are in year 9, year 10, or if you're a parent who's interested, then I'm just going to briefly explain uh, what's changed and what you can do about it. So let's start with the bad things about the change in the specification. Um, there are no past papers for you to do. Um, Sorry. Whereas I'm telling all the year 11 so I'm going to find all the past papers, there are no past papers for you to do. I'm going to be like writing as much stuff as I can in the new style because the exam board haven't released very much for you at all. So I'm going to do as much of that for you as I can as possible. Um, if you want to see what I'm up to, pop over to my classroom channel every, um, or pop over to my website, everything will be up on there. Um, but the good thing is... Chances are, now this isn't a guarantee, that the grade boundaries are going to be as low as they ever are this year. Traditionally, grade boundaries go up and up and up and up and up. So, year 11s, while they have loads and loads of past papers to work from, their grade boundaries are going to be ridiculously high. Whereas your grade boundaries, when we get to the end of year 11, are probably going to be quite low. Now, this doesn't mean we can relax, but it's a good thing. So we have gone to like linear exams now, which means you can't just do a bit here and a bit there. It's all at the end. And the grading has changed as well. So instead of going from A star down to G, we are now going to be using um, nines, that's the top grade, um, ones down at the bottom. Um, there's not going to be coursework anymore, so if you've seen older brothers or sisters or cousins um, doing ISAs or controlled assessments, that doesn't exist anymore. There are now going to be core practicals. So these are practicals that you um, have to do in class, um, and then there are going to be questions about them on the exam. Now, the problem with this is that you do a practical once in class, maybe at the start of year 10, and then you ask questions about it at the end of year 11, and that's a long time to remember which stuff you added first, or why you did this, or how to read this. So what I'm going to try and do for you is make videos of all of these core practicals, um, so you can just like go and watch them as part of your revision. Because while it's a nice idea, um, I'm not a big fan of this idea. Sorry. Um, the other thing that's being introduced is uh, multiple choice questions. Uh, now some exam boards have had these for a while, some exam boards are just introducing these. Um, so teachers, some, some teachers are going to be really good at this, some teachers aren't going to be really good at um, setting you multiple choice questions. But there are going to be multiple choice questions. So what I'm doing to help you with this is, um, if you support me over on Patreon, I'm just basically going to say multiple choice questions every single week. Because answering multiple choice questions is a skill. It's something that you need to get used to. Um, it's like a skill, like writing a six mark answer or writing an essay in English. You have to practice how to answer multiple choice questions so that you can know you can get it right. Um, there is going to be a lot more um, writing to do, and they're switching to like hierarchical marking, which means you have to get all the base before you can get the middle, before you can get the high marks. Whereas if you mess up something really, really basic, you're not going to get the high marks. Now, the problem with this is that, like, a six mark question is basically a whole grade. Um, and it's really, really harsh if you miss out something, and if you misread the question. Um, which means you can't get up to that higher grade. So a really, really good thing for you to do to help you with this is to start reading books. So I'm not talking like, you know, loads and loads of books, loads and loads of really heavy books, but just like 15 minutes of reading a day will get you used to reading things, um, it will get you uh, used to looking at large blocks of text, picking out the key information, just like 15 minutes of reading a day has been shown to increase grades and it's really, really good for you. Okay guys, um, so that's how the new GCSE works. I am going to be doing loads and loads of things. I'm going to label them all new specification um, until this is kind of like the only specification and I'm just going to take that bit off. Um, so I'm going to loads and loads of stuff to help you as much as I can because... Because papers, well, there aren't any. 
Um, right, you know, I'm telling all the year 11s to do all the past papers they can, to do as much as they can. You guys don't have any past papers to do. This is, this is not, this is bad. Okay guys, uh, if there's anything you'll need or anything you're confused about, just ask.